everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today I'm going to show you how to add Compiz to Ubuntu Mate version 14.10. Uh, and, you know, just as a side note, this method should work with um, any distribution that is Ubuntu based and running Mate version uh, 1.8. Uh, so if you're on Linux Mint or, you know, another Ubuntu based distribution that's run in Mate, um, you know, this should work for you. So uh, I'm going to install this using Synaptic Package Manager. You could do this via terminal. You could do this uh, with the Ubuntu Software Center. Um, either way, it's going to get you to the same place. So let me shrink this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. So let's uh, show you the packages we're going to add. Obviously, we've got to add Compiz. And let me check my notes over here. Okay, so we already got the default plugins added. And we want the extras and the main. And we want compass config and the compass settings manager. We'll mark that for installation. And that's everything. And like I said, I'll throw uh, throw a list of everything that you need down in the uh, down in the uh, video description there. So uh, don't have to try to remember everything that I just did. Uh, okay. And now we're just going to click apply and let it install. And I will pause the video while this installs because it might take a little while. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Everything is installed. So before we go and and fire up Compiz, let's go and pull open our control center. Now you can access the um, let me find it here. Compiz config settings manager. You can access through the control center or just do a regular search for it. However you want to pull it up. But anyway. Um, before before starting Compiz, uh, want to check our settings here. And um, important thing to check is to be sure. Come on down to. Uh, I always hate trying to search for it, so I just. We want the window decorator. Okay, always make sure that your window decorations are set so that because otherwise, if not. You'll fire this thing up and not have uh, window borders. So anyway, okay, you can see right here the command GTK window decorator. Fine. What it'll do, what that does, is it tells Compass that for window decorations, we're going to use the GTK themes. Now you can also go and set this thing up so that you can use the emerald themes, um, but that's kind of another story there. Uh, but Okay, so we got that set, and really that's the main thing that you want. You want to be sure is set before you go and um, and fire up Comp. Is uh, you can see that some of the animations are already active and fading windows and transformable windows, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, there's some animation set up and and whatnot. But anyway. Um, let me go and open up terminal. And let me get the command here for firing up uh, comp is we want. Where is it? Ah, uh, oh, there it is. Comp is space dash dash replace. So anyway, open up your terminal, compiz space dash dash replace. That'll start up compiz. 
and there we have it as you can see um, yeah it's using the uh, the comp is uh, comp is is running the the uh, the window borders now uh, before I was using uh, a customized theme there but now it's just going with the stock uh, comp is or not stock comp is but stock uh, mate ambience theme and I'll show you let me pull up um, decomp editor and so I can show this to you there it is okay so if you install new themes um, and you want to use them, uh, you know, while you're running comp is you're going to need to come to decomp editor to specify what theme you're going to use. So go to is it desktop. Yeah, desktop. No, no, that's not it. Org. Yeah, and go to GNOME. Ah, there it is. Desktop. And scroll down to Window Manager preferences and see right there where it says theme ambience mate that's what uh, what theme we're using right now so if you wanted to change that you just put in the name of whatever theme it is that you want to want to use so like uh, let me go and I'll pull up a, a list of our of our currently installed themes just go to appearance. So, ambience mate is what it's pulling from by default. If I wanted to go this black mate, we could go and change that. Oh, that's cool. Just by clicking it, it'll do that for you. I did not think that it would allow you to change that way, but it is. So, uh, eh, like they say, you learn something every day. So, pretty cool. Um, so, anyway, uh, we kind of learned something together at the same time. All right. So, while the, now that we've got, we can see that uh, that all this is functioning correctly. Uh, let me close up Decomp Editor, and we're going to want to make this. Pull up the. We we're going to want uh, Compass to start up, uh, you know, at startup now. So let me find our list of startups. So we're going to go and add, and we'll just call this comp is comment. And the command is, I believe, the same as what we used before. To start it up to begin with command comp is replace we'll add that to our startups and so from now on when we first start up uh, our our uh, Ubuntu Mate distribution uh, comp is will start up and boom you're ready to go well I guess that about finishes things up on on how to install this and get it set up and everything uh, now to be honest, I have not played with every Compass setting to see if everything is compatible with uh, Mate. So, I mean, all I can tell you on that one is uh, give it a try and and uh, uh, see how it works for you. Because, I mean, there's some effects that, you know, every one of us is different. So, um, you know, I'm not a fan of the desktop cube. I'm not into wobbly windows. So... You know, those are things that I really didn't, you know, I wasn't checking them out to see if they worked. I think I saw somewhere on, uh, when I was doing a little research on this, I think I saw on Google Plus somewhere that um, enabling the 3D windows did not work correctly, which is, um, I'll, I'll pull it up for you and show you. Um 
on the desktop cube uh, here it is 3d windows um, I think I saw that this didn't work and basically what that is is if you enable the desktop cube um, and you enable the 3d windows it looks like all of your various windows as you're rotating the uh, the cube around it looks like they're they're sticking out um, you know from the from the cube and not actually part of the surface of the cube um, but like I said I you know it's just something I read online I haven't tried it myself because like I said I'm not really a a um, a cube person so it really wasn't yeah not my thing um, but like I said uh, you know this is how you install it go and put it on on your distribution and play around with it see what you like and and go from there um, anyway that's about it hope you enjoyed the video I've got a few more on uh, on various things that you can do to Ubuntu Mate uh, so be sure to check those out um, one is um, various ways to launch applications and we've got our stock menu right here but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some other ideas some other uh, um, you know other types of menus and and whatnot that you can add um, so you can launch applications in that way uh, and then I'm also going to show you some of the different things that you can do to your panels uh, you know kind of customize things make it work out just the way you want it to so anyway thanks a lot hope to see you on the next videos give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to subscribe so you can see keep seeing this great content see you next time